Hello, everybody. That was a weak. Sh that was a weak bird. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, it's been a while since we've uh, visited the land of YouTube. Feels like it's almost been a year. Uh, pardon us, real quick. Uh, yeah. No, we're all good. <coughs> uh, that was just uh, part of our piece set. Just deciding to come crashing down. I guess this is a sign that uh, we really shouldn't be doing this. So, it's been fun. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, just God was telling us no. Uh, anyway, guys, we are playing a new game that Casey has brought to my attention named Moonlighter. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about it, and I'm probably going to be shit at it, but might as well start it. Alright, load new screen. New game, yep. Alright. New, hard, recommended, original difficulty left, created by the developers, recommended for most players. <coughs> Ooh, little goobers. Little, little, little. Little, little, little. Scowy. Among the stars of the night, there's a land as old as imagination. Ooh. One night, maze full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them the dungeon, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Lands! Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. They are named Rinyanekuga. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. Black and white, but the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. <coughs> Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of the Moonlighters. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. The witch door? The mysterious door. <laughs> oh, he put he put on his Naruto headband. He's he's fucking in it. Uh, he's Sorry. ready to go. Can't wait to fucking whoop some ass. So how many people do I need to kill? Like all of them? Awesome. We're already in the dungeon. He looks fucking bored to be here. He looks like he was consigned at birth to do this shit. Oh? <gasps> Tapestry. How does it feel just control wise so far? Doesn't feel bad. Oh. Welcome to your jump button. Haha! <laughs> 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 I'm better than you! You were saying? Look, that was not fair. Okay. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> 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 You're the great dodger. Wah, wah. You entered a dungeon with a broom. How do you feel? I am God. Bow to me. See, I'm fucking beautiful at this. I'm like Link over here, bashing pots. Huh. Oh, what's this? What's RT do? Nothing. Hold down X. <gasps> Really? So professional. What we got in here? We got some that's rich your, jelly. That's your inventory. Oh, this is my inventory? Yes, that's I, your inventory. I knew that. <laughs> what do we have here? We have some foundered rest. And we also have fabric. Ooh, we can make a dress. Can I make my character wear whatever? Uh, yeah, you can eventually get stuff for him to wear. Hardened steel, like a dress? Uh, no clue. What about a wig? It's been so long I don't remember. Gold runes. Ooh, a hard hat. Alright, so... Ah. Shit! Oh, Jesus, God, Mary!
This is the end! Come on. You have health potions somewhere. You got this. There's no way in God's green earth I was supposed to live that down. What do you mean? There's 50 billion things going at me. I mean, you're just a noob. See, I knew it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> just get this shit out of my fucking dungeon. What? <gasps> Roshi, help me. I am of near death. Oh, Zinnon. Yeah, pretty much, Roshi. What a sorry looking child. I, I bet he says that to every fucking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. Just slowly drags him by his hair. I just got fucked up by a dungeon here. I just got fucked up by a dungeon here. Can you move any quicker? No. The answer is God, no. If you did, it'll break your hips. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dead. So you want to do the old man? Sure. Alright. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Oh, beautiful Pete. What Morning, I, boy. What I did to you in your sleep, you we will don't never, talk about. We will never know. Did our little merchant bite off more than he can manage? My dick, for example? Well, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlight. Congratulations, you're an orphan! You're an orphan, <laughs> you little bitch! Like, imagine him not knowing that his parents are dead, and he's like, wait. What? Congratulations, you're the last of your family. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, old man? He's like, well, you're the last of your family, what do you want from me? You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth floor, not fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts that you can pen, pen, then that pen, 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 that you your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, crater's sake, stop using the broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. We are not copyrighted. I swear. I look. Those are words. I'm allowed to say words. It's mine from back of the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. It's just a dildo. Uh, why don't you need that anymore? Because I have a sweet young man in my room now. Now then, get up! And get me up. <laughs> You're wasting <laughs> light. Can't have your neglig neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your head. Hard, hard head some of the tricks that... I picked up from your grandfather and so grandmother many, many years ago. Many, mm, many yes. years ago. Mm, yes. What I'm trying to say is, family were swingers. Your, your family let me do all sorts of horrible things. Successfully selling your merch, your merchandise takes knowledge to do things. You must know an item's value as well as its dime and demand. Come now, open the shop and allow the customers in. Sup, bitch? You like what you see? Yeah, I bet you do. So, did you see that? Best expression you can help for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew it was prices were fair. Hello, other backpack stranger. That one's 170. It's a good place, isn't it? Yes. What's your fucking problem, bitch? I don't think I need to tell you that item was obviously overpriced. No, it wasn't! Lessons learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information. You have gathered a dis on discovered wares and artifacts. Hmm. What? RT. Oh. Uh, so 
So 100 is pretty good. 170 is too much. Is that it? Is that all it wanted me to learn? Yeah, pretty much each item is going to have that arrange. Uh, would seem the sun has fallen for the day. Good God, how quick are your days? It's like, wake up, boy. It's time for the shop to open. Oh, well, we're done. Restoring the shop to its full glory? The responsibility falls to you, not to I. The, why the fuck do you exist? It's in your blood will make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out the new sword of yours? Dungeons are more prevalent at night. You can't, you won't can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. If, Swing it! If I remember right, if you use that pendant, you lose money. Money. So welcome to capitalism, the game. I'm cool with capitalism. Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. I want to kill this kid. Can I kill people? No, I don't think you can. That's stupid. Player you, you choice. You can help him build the town, though. Player choice and agency. My left foot. <gasps> it's like a Pokemon game. Where's Eradicate? I'm going to catch me a Zapdos. I, I just hope I don't catch a uh, Lucario or Ryalu. Anyone that likes those are fucking furries. Dungeon awaits! Dum da dum dum da 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 dungeon. Dum da dum 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 dum. I'm gonna get fucked up. Okay, so you need to help me. Where the fuck's the dungeon? Oh, you have to figure that out. That's some bullshit. Dungeons available to heroes, not recommended for merchants. Well, I can't fucking go in, apparently. Uh, you can go in that door. Golem dungeon. Oh, dungeons available to merchants and heroes. I am a hero! Gloop! <laughs> Gloop. Mmm. Blood. Mm. I'm back, sluts! Alright, welcome to the dungeon. Let's Check go. out oh. X as well. You have a shield for X. Ow. Ow. Oh. You have to be facing the enemy with the shield. No one told me that. I'm doing perfectly fine. Anyone that says I'm not uh, needs to shut the fuck up. See, there you go. You got an item. Oh, yeah. Who's next? Oh, you is. Oh, yeah, come on. Ow. Ha-ha! <laughs> hey, there you go. Remember, all those items you can sell in your shop, or use them for stuff. I really like the music. It's nice oh, yeah. and soothing. And each area has different music, too. Oh. Slides! Ah! You think I can make it? Uh, I don't know about that, man. <laughs> Uh, hey, it's a merchant area. Oop. Jacking your shit. Ooh. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I do, or I took injury from the strange creaser across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though, I'd say. Far better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled. Whoa! -ha -ha. Whoa! One of which is map diagram. Whatever it is, 
I was right. <laughs> they called me crazy. Said old Crazy Pete's done gone lost his marbles. But I was right! Each guardian of the dungeon must possess a key of some sorts. I didn't leave my son behind to become an orphan. I was about to say, I recall uh, the old man bringing up a pea. <laughs> All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeon. I get to see my son soon after this, I swear. <laughs> the fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. Or my son grow up. <laughs> To whoever finds me, hopefully not my son, I apologize for the smell. I shracked myself before passing. But the diagram <laughs> should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door of Anoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Man, for someone who's dying, he really is good at re uh, Right. Stuff. Big Boss gonna kill me! I suppose to let them all out! Now I have to chase these weird creatures, they stole my stuff! Ah! Big Boss gonna be so upset with little old me! Okay, so I need four keys to open the big one. Okay. Whoop! Uh, B... What? Oh. Is that sending me home? Uh, sending you home. Sweet. Well, I got a lot of shit I can sell. Hmm? Go to town. Go to town? Well, Grandpa, I met my dad. Skeleton. So, every time you travel, um, it'll pop you back here. Oh, that's dope. It shot me out right there. The old man's gonna try to come talk to you. Run! Oh, the young proprietor of Moonlight has returned. You look intact, finally learn to use the pendant properly. It's about time, boy. About time for you to get in my bed. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You... You found old Pete? Shit. Dead? I thought nobody would find the corpse I laid in there. Well, too bad. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. You get ganked by Xenon. Leave it, Will. Just I don't want to shank another young, <laughs> supple man. Boy. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon and look after Moonlighter. Now, I notice some parts, posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to rev revitalize this town. Apparently they need some startup capital first. We are going to biologically sabotage their businesses, light their dogs on fire, and shit in their stockings. Anyway, it would be nice to see some new life in Ragnarok. Nice indeed. Mmm, more supple. Young boys. Supple. What's <laughs> up, lady? Run in. You go. Okay. Renoka may not be as prosperous as it used to be. But many still visit to pick up a souvenir from the Golem Dome and maybe be able to use my services. Probably even <laughs> one from the closed dungeons if we are lucky. But you could be lucky tonight for a small, small fee. Oh, uh, I'm too young for this. Uh, investments, town. Ooh, Vulcan's Forge, the wooden hat. Lara Taylor, hawker banker. Okay, and... Shit! And shop. Okay. Cheap sale box, 10,000 gold, iron cash register, coffee. And you can also go up one. Shop also levels. Up. Ooh. You can get a big ass shop. Well, I only have a hundred, so I can't, I can't buy shit. Well, you can always go into there and then set up your sales for tomorrow. Alright, so let's put some good shit up. Uh, teeth stone, teeth stone, wheat stone, vine, vine. Um, I iron think bar. your iron bars and your uh, glass are going to be your best item sellers compared to what you got. So, what, how much are you going to sell it for? Uh, 200. You're going to test it out 200? Are you sure? Because that really nice crystal thing people hated at 170. Alright, 125. But to be fair, there's only one of that crystal thing. Exactly. Oh, 
Okay, uh, and you said glass lenses? Sure. Alright. You so only have two of them, though. Alright, for that one, let's go with the hundred. Alright, what about your crystal? People weren't happy with it. Let's drop that down to 300. Or 130? 300. 300. Alright. All right. That should be enough for today. Now you can go back to the dungeon, or you can read your shit, or... Mm. I wonder what this could mean. Absolutely nothing. Joke's on you, I can't read. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the dungeon one more time, and then after I probably presu I presumably perish, like my old buddy Pete, uh, wrong direction, I will probably just come back and sell some shit. But you know what will happen? What? We'll come back next time. Next time! Woo! Farewell, everyone. See you guys next time. Bye!